at the airport where I was afraid to come out. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> because as soon as they came to the door, there was a wall of people sitting there looking at me that scared me out <laughs> to death. I was like, my God, what, who, 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 who are these people and what do they want? So I was afraid to come out. Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you very much for checking me out. I've already told you that we need to start this conversation. We need to start talking about my culture, the lifestyle, the people, and then that of my brothers and sisters who one way or the other have found themselves in a different geographical area. But as I have told you, as I have mentioned earlier on, there is that gap between us and amongst us. And this podcast um, is going to be basically talking about how we do things, the lifestyle, the culture of the people of Ghana, Africa. I might not know all um, other African countries, what they do, but I am uh, privy to what we do here in Ghana. Definitely, I would also want my brothers and sisters from the other side to teach us how we can relate together so that we don't continue the war between African diaspora and Africans in the motherland. So today I'm very happy to have my very first wonderful guest <laughs> on my Let's Have a Conversation podcast or a project which uh, we are all embarking on. So I would use this opportunity to welcome you, May, to my channel. Uh, first of all, kindly um, tell me, how did you find Echo Simpson channel? How did you find it? Where? How? How did you come about my channel? Ooh, oh, Lord. Um, actually, well, I think back in 2018, um, yeah, wow. <laughs> you actually, um, um, there was a group of us and mm. we all were looking to move to Ghana and um um, I'll just say his first name, Carl. Um, Carl. Okay. He was um, getting a group of us together, and I think you you were a part of of of, uh, of um, uh, his environment to where you were in it you know, on some of his yeah. films and things, and so that's how I got to know you. And that's okay. how I started watching you because okay. I was gathering information. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I right, thank you very much for following since 2018 till now. So tell us a little bit about yourself and where you originally come from. I mean, in the United States, that is what I mean. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, of course, my name is May. I am originally from the South of, of uh, and you can tell by my accent and those who are listening, um, you can take the girl out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the girl. <laughs> yeah. I'm from the southern part of the United States, of, um, which started this journey, which is important to this journey. Um, right. I'm from Mississippi, so I call myself homegrown. Um, I um, reside right now in Newport News, Virginia, but um, I have lived um, from the north to the south to the east to the west as well as out of the country so um, I've lived a lot of different places but I'm a southern belle I'm from the Mississippi Mississippi so shout out to all the Mississippi <laughs> people watching right now now let's go straight to the point what was your first interaction to Africa how did it come about what what how did you realize that okay my eyes are open now there is Africa how did how and how did you take it and what was your first step to africa africa has always been in my heart even when i didn't even know anything but what i was looking at so as a as a young lady i've always looked at pictures and disregard the phone as telemarketers um i've always looked at pictures of the, and always loved the aesthetics and always loved the um cloth and and all of those different things so i've always had it in my heart anytime and any opportunity i would just always just try to gather information about it to make a long story short uh well, not really gonna have fun. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's part of the conversation. People are gonna love, you know. Yeah. That um, mm -hmm. that uh, I'll call you back. 
um, when I say 2000, goodness, 2018, um, can you pause that a moment? Let me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So this is this is a family conversation. So um, everything is everything. I like the logo. I like the the inscription. When she comes back, I'm gonna ask her. I mean the the artwork there, because I've seen some of the incredible symbols there. Yes, you know if you can watch you know, just behind you. Yeah, I was just talking about the art behind you. I've seen the it incredible symbols there. Yes. Yeah. So um, I have. I have Africa all over my house. So that's mm -hmm. what I mean. I, I have collect, I collect things and I love pictures and I love art. Right. Um, I started off in 2018. Uh, that was my first time coming to Africa. But like mm -hmm. I said, my, I've always had a, a um, desire to see Africa, right. but I had a traumatic experience that made me say if there was one thing that I wanted in my life and it was that I always had wanted to go to Africa. I right. had lost my job, lost all my money, wow. um, finally had time and didn't have any money. <laughs> but I took, I said, you know, I'm going to take my last amount that I have and I'm going to go where I always wanted to go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be broke. I'm going to be broke when I get back, but I'm going to go do something I always wanted. So in 2018, I made all of my arrangement, my plane. I, I got online, found a hotel and all the different things. But I did know someone. Okay. I had um, um, earlier, um, even a few years before then, I had um, adopted a, a young um uh, compassion international compassion international compassion so yes. um, i yes. was sending a, a young young uh african Ghanaian to school okay. and so i did have a contact i did mm -hmm. have someone that i could speak to you know and and so i got on the plane and i just came to ghana so my first impression is what you're asking yes is that <laughs> at the airport where i was afraid to come out uh, <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> because as soon as they came to the door, there was a wall of people sitting there looking at me that scared me out <laughs> to death. I was like, my God, what are, who, who, who are these people and what do they want? So I was afraid to come out. But I eventually, <laughs> I came on out of that airport. But anyway, um, my impression, it was just like Mississippi. Right. It okay. was just like coming, going home mm -hmm. and in a true sense of the the people, the wall of of of, of black people, mm -hmm. the um, atmosphere of of just thriving, uh, looking at them doing every aspect of living. Mm -hmm. um, the red dirt, the, <laughs> it was as if I was back in Mississippi as I grew up. And so it, it really touched my heart to, to the core of that, you know, um, the lifestyle, everything that I had done as a growing up was just the same. Mm -hmm. Um, but yet we had called it like we were little country bumpkins running around barefooted at that. And, but yet here it was in Ghana called grounding, yeah. but everything that I saw reminded me of my youth of growing up um, okay. in every aspect. Um, and then when I went to Cape Coast to the to the uh, castle to the and castle. the experience, um, which I had n no idea of what I would feel or even since, and, but to it was something that just burst in my spirit to know that I was the first person. I think we're answering that mystery of, they said that we would never return. And so right. that moment when you realize that you have fulfilled something that 
you you never thought it 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 it, it births a reality within mm-hmm. your spirit that I guess we could say is calling Mother mm-hmm. Africa's calling. It 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 burst wide open. So I I I I don't think any of us can truly give you words to mm-hmm. express it, but. Mm-hmm. It's just very spiritual. Right. It is It is spiritual because, I mean, I could see and I could observe from your face and from the way you're talking that most people who come and go through the dungeon or the castles, at the end of the day, they have a different mentality to life yeah. and to also respect where their root is. So yeah. what, what one thing would you say you picked up. I mean, as a country girl, you're saying you came to Ghana, step out from the airport, you saw this number of African black people, <laughs> and you're like, what are they doing here? And then straight to the to the dungeon. What one thing would you say you picked up that right now, even today, it has changed your perception of something about Africa? not knowing anything but what we had seen on TV and seeing Tarzan and jungle and everything else. Um, Knowing that it was more modern, but I also Mm -hmm. felt like it was going back in time to the sixties and and, in in the last few years, Ghana has has, uh, grown. But in 2018, that was, I felt like I was back in the sixties. And so, so (laughs) what, has transpired is a passion to know more about that inception that took place within that dungeon of knowing that that all the time we go back to our roots. I wouldn't say our roots, but our roots as far as America, Mm -hmm. not knowing that that's really not our beginning. Right. And I don't, me personally, I, I took, when I went there, I connected, Mm -hmm. I connected the dots right? and saw that my, my parents and grandparents were the people who went away not knowing, and they were resilient that they made it through so many people died so therefore my people were strong Mm -hmm. and carried a strength that i saw in within my african brothers and sisters a light in your eyes that has gone out in ours and that's what i saw i saw something that every american needs to be injected with an identity a pride and awareness and realizing that even though we have been subjected to all types of hollow that I was proud of whomever they were, whether yeah. it was male or female, mm-hmm. I was so proud of them because they survived. Right. Not only survived, but they adapted. Mm-hmm. And not only when I say that I, I saw Mississippi, I saw Every food that I ate, there was a food within my culture that mm-hmm. equaled it. And I and I start saying, we didn't lose it. And so yes. I didn't know that. I did not know that there was a connection. I, I, I didn't, and that's what happened. I start seeing everything that you all were doing, we were doing, we okay. may have adapted it, you know, adjusted it a little, but it was the same thing. The same, yeah. And so I saw that connection. So from 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 the door of no return to um, my my grandmother and grandfather and their mother and father, I saw the resilience and strength where they had beaten us down. So I didn't know that we had such strength. And then Mm -hmm. I just started seeing the strength in you all. Mm -hmm. I saw the work that you do every day just for a dollar. 
I saw the market women with children on their back and things on their head. Yeah. And I, I said, and they think we're strong black women. Look at that. That's where it <laughs> comes from. So I started connecting everything. Right. Mm -hmm. Everything started, uh, what did they say, awaken? I, mm -hmm. I, I, everything just began to to just explode in my soul and mind and heart. So okay. I saw me, and I tell you, I uh, wanted that. I want, um, I wanted that look in my eyes. I wanted mm -hmm. to see. I want that life back in my soul. Right. That, um, living here, not knowing where you're from, but that we were from strong people, mm -hmm. you know, not weak minded people, not inferior people, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so that's that's what it was. Great. Great. I love I love the fact that you were connecting strength, looking at market women carrying stuff on their head with the babies at their back going through every day just to survive yes and that is strength that, that is, strength. is strength that is the energy now you've i can see the connection you've already created with africa i mean you're getting to understand see things and relating it to i mean back then where you came from now there is other africans who is not being able to make a step just like you have done and it is not everybody who must come to where our people were taken to and the are cultures and everything if you have the opportunity to talk to us in the motherland how would you make us understand to welcome you home anytime our brothers and sisters are coming home what don't we know about our brothers and sisters out there like i said in the, in that connection i think the one thing about African Americans are, and and I think maybe you have heard it in in, um, is that we call good people, you know, that's a good that's a good people, you know, and that's kind of a code word in in that when you meet a good person that you can trust them, yeah. that you can to, uh, what is it? We trust until we don't know to trust, you know? And I think as African-Americans, that's one thing about us that you are not familiar with mm -hmm. is that, and we look and we see ourselves and we trust you. And what we learn to do is not trust you. And that hurts. And so, what I mean by that is that we, when we say good people, when to each of us, when we come, we're looking for that person that we can say, that's a good person that I can okay. put my trust in. If you were coming to America alone by yourself, you're, you're going to look around for somebody that can, that you can relate to, or that you can trust, right? right, right. That, 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 that can help you or help you navigate that you can, that you know, it's not going to hurt you or harm you or, right. or, or, or do. And so that's what I'm saying. So when we come there, we're, we are looking for someone that we can, we call good people. Well, and when we say good people, it means that this is a person that uh, has a good heart that mm -hmm. you can trust mm -hmm. that um, um, has morals or, um, there's one thing about us is if we all all black Americans, you have north, south, east, and west. But when I say southern, um, I'm just gonna speak from what I know. Okay. Um, when we say good people, um, it's a code word that we know that we're not going to have prejudice mm -hmm. or that we're you know safe. Okay. That's what it's saying. This is okay. a safe person, so therefore you would open more to that person, right? Okay. You'll open up, you'll eat a meal with them, you'll converse with them. You And so that's what's uh, missing. And I think when we do, we get what we call burnt, you know? Well, that's why we say there's so much um, scamming going on because we're so, I wanna say the word gullible, 
but we're trusting. And we mm -hmm. thought that you all were just like us. And that's what we're finding that we have to be careful with. And so we're looking for good people. The thing about it is, as African-Americans and, and in that, is that I think when, when, when you find good people, um, because of the economy, we have big hearts. We're willing to pay for our services. But mm -hmm. if we have someone that we can't trust, you know, so there can be a meshing of, of sharing, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. if I, I have the money, I need somebody who can do the work. Okay. So if I can find someone that's a good person, a whom I'm going to trust, that's right. exactly. And so what we do is we pass your name amongst ourselves. Get Joe Blow. You know, he's good at it. <laughs> and so that's what I'm saying. Yeah. We can build relationships because we are trusting people and we're looking for people that we can say that you're a good people. And that's just a word, like I said, that that we share whether you're north, south, east, and west. And I know everyone who's listening to me know exactly what I'm saying. Um, that you can trust to 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 be honest, mm -hmm. trust to um, understand you and trust to help you and trust to kind of bridge the gap when you get it mixed, messed up or something. But okay. that's what it is. And, and I think because and, and in being in Ghana, that's why I wanted to, to speak with you. And I'm going, don't you all understand? This is a win win. And instead of scamming or lying or and, and 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 not everyone is like that, but I'm saying instead of if you change that, you have a win-win. And in that trusting, that helps your economy because the more is going to be a sharing of it mm -hmm. instead of thinking that this is a dishonest place. Okay. And and that's what's killing it, and that's what's giving the negativity. But we as a people are trusting and we're looking for good people and um, we love having good people um, when you are a good person then there's a total sharing mm -hmm. of resources and mingling but when you don't do that then it, i think it puts that wall between well, yeah. like I, I i can't trust you you know so I can't share my emotions. I can't share my thoughts. You understand? Right. Yeah. Right. I really, I really, I mean, I can attest to what you are saying. I pay my observation and my interactions with some African Americans. I have realized that, yes, trust is number one because I have within a few years of getting into what I'm doing, I sometimes get this information shared to me by other African-Americans. And sometimes I feel like it was too personal. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, what you are saying has really reconnected mm -hmm. that, okay, what I was thinking and what it is now is the reason why some people that I know openly come to me, call mm -hmm. me, share their personal stuff with me, because I try as much as possible to be yeah. trustworthy. Yes. So I think that is an item that we here have to go back and preach to our people that our brothers and sisters who have gone through this and that need people they can trust. Yes. And the, and the, and the interesting word now that I've learned is the good people. Yes. I want good people. Good yes. people. Great. Yes. Great. Great, great. This is this is this is an eye open. I mean, I'm I'm still it's still like connecting to a lot of events that had happened to me right. because I think I, I was a good people. I am mm. in the in the good people. That's right. Season. Wow. That's right. Good and team. when when you're surrounded by good people, and 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 my whole encounters with each and every person, um, it's like. Um, finding a needle in a haystack. And so you value each other, you know, right. and, and, and that's what I see. I've got a bunch of, it's like a, a network of, mm -hmm. of, of people that, that I know that I hopefully um, can trust to help me 
uh, <laughs> get on the, through whatever it is yeah. that I may experience yeah. there, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, not even stranger, you know, um, mm -hmm. as I'm building a house. I mean, I didn't know him, but yet, uh, like from 2018, as a part of, of, of uh, giving us information on people, um, I've communicated with him. I, I know in some of your videos, you're saying how you communicated with a person for years and years and wow. years. <laughs> and yet when I said, so when I finally get there, it is you I want to build my house. I gotta trust him. I'm, I'm, you know, and I, and I be praying every day. Oh Lord, please don't, let <laughs> you know. But I've got to put my trust in him to do what I have paid him good money to do, and hopefully, and, and I do trust him. That obviously, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, that name will get passed from my lips to someone else. Because we're gonna brag on who's good. We're gonna yeah, right. brag on who who's who's uh you know a mm -hmm. good person. Mm -hmm. And and I said you can you can bet your business is about to take off. You know <laughs> because definitely uh when and everyone actually is like sitting back going we're waiting to see we waiting to okay see. yeah you know so that's yeah. what I'm saying it's a win win situation. Um, and if we're going to come move to Ghana interact and mingle that's what it's going to take because that's what kind of people we are you've got good people in every every country every race every yeah. and you've got bad people so you know just take you're in canada and i've watched some of your videos i'll see you going to the store and everything else and you're <laughs> walking and how do you feel if you could just have someone that you could just have a conversation with you know i'm sure you feel like like you say to ride on the bus like a stranger but yeah. i tell you what if you come to mississippi and get on the bus you will find somebody who's going to talk to you you actually <laughs> feel like oh my goodness because that's they're very open and warm and, okay. and generous and everything else and so it depends on where you are the more north north you get the more um <laughs> there's if each one north south east and west is different mm -hmm. it's different it has its um cultural differences um but it has that one I, I thought hard about it it has that one ingredient in everything that we do mm -hmm. and even yourself even in your traveling mm -hmm. you are alone you've got to find you look at people and you look at their faces you look and you say okay can i can i trust that guy can i trust the person yes. yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's true it's true there, there are instances i'm traveling and i need to talk to someone but you need to look at someone you can trust mm -hmm. even for the first instance you still want to look and mm -hmm. see if you can trust before you move on so mm -hmm. that is that is very true you 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 there are you 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 made up your mind to to test i would use the word to test africa and you are you are giving good remarks good report and everything would you say that african americans should at least even if they don't want to stay they don't want to relate to africa or whatever do you do you do you what is your advice for someone who is skeptic and thinking um i don't want to do it i don't want to have anything to do with africa i don't know what africa is what is your what is your what would you tell those people i do this every day because everyone's like you're gonna do what <laughs> <laughs> with even within my own family you're gonna get out of your comfortable zone out of all all this all of this to go do <laughs> what you know uh i was told the other day there's snakes over there i said well you killed one in your shed you know <laughs> <laughs> but um everyone that i meet because of what happened at the castle when i say that i saw a different look in everyone's eye mm -hmm. i tell everyone you must go you must visit right. you vacation um you don't have to move there but i think mm -hmm. and when i get through telling them everyone says i'm gonna go there i say every young black african american male mm -hmm. needs to go to ghana if i could gather up a crew of them to bring so that they can get that injection 
right. that they need. And so mm-hmm. I try to tell everyone the injection that you need is in Africa. Okay. If you go and look, just, just go for a vacation. You'll understand. And so I tell everyone that it's like getting an injection of what it is that you need to put that victory back in your eyes. Right, right. And I think that I'm I'm glad you mentioned and you focus on every black uh, African male should do that. Because yes. we the men are the ones who lead. Yes. And then our women will follow. So yes. I, I love that that idea it should be if you're an african-american male you're watching this take a a trip to ghana you you try and connect with people just at least have a number have a connection someone Mm -hmm. in africa that you can one day just connect to talk to and everything thank you very much for being on my channel like um, this is an experience an eye opener like i say you're the first person uh on this conversation i really really appreciate it a lot and I hope this is not the, 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 the first and then the last. We will still be having conversations about how we can learn together. And I know anybody who is watching right now, you've learned something, you've seen something, you've watched something, you've jotted down something. It should be part of our life to learn among ourselves and try and bridge this gap together. Your final words to anybody who is watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> Go to anywhere that you choose, Africa. It does not have to be Ghana. It -hmm. could be anywhere. But come see, experience for yourself. Don't listen to negativity from anyone else. Life is what you make it. So if you want to see where life began, then come to Africa. But you know... I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna cook your meal. When I'm gonna cook you an African American meal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I can't wait. You, 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 you are already learning the African meal. <laughs> that is good. That is good. I'm gonna cook you an African American meal. African <laughs> American meal. Okay. That would be good. That would be good. I hope very soon some of us will also come to that side and learn more. Uh, yes. You know, get to see places. And I know. There are places that people usually mention when it comes to if you want to see the African experience or things that are related to Africans there. Where are some of the states that if one comes, they will see that, hey, this looks like, you know, the African experiences right there. Somebody mentioned New Orleans, you know, I mean, where you go and then you get the history of Africa. Where in the United States? Um. Gula. Like, like Mississippi, I think it has some, yeah, that vibe. There's a the particular uh, place, Gula, Gula Geechee. I think that's North or South Carolina. But mm-hmm. um, a lot of Africans uh, Africans tend to be around, as far as I know, uh, the D.C. area, Maryland, okay. Maryland. But def- mm-hmm. to get a definite, they have uh, Gula Geechee in, I think it's South Carolina. South Carolina. Okay. That you're going to get authentic Africa. Okay. You know, because okay. they're, they, they, they have tried to keep that mm. in the culture. Right. Right. So that's South Carolina. I think it's South Carolina. But if you, Geechee, Gula, G U L L A H. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So thank you very much, May. I really appreciate you coming on my channel. Uh, until we meet again, let's have a conversation and let's keep talking to ourselves. And All right. Thank you. Thank you for having me.